Truly the Lord is in this spot, although I did not know it. It's a great line to hold on to, this, this passage from the book of Genesis about this mysterious moment in Jacob's life in which he has this revelation of the God of his father, Isaac, the God of his grandfather, Abraham. And he's departing, it says he's departing from Beersheba. He's, he's, um, he's on this journey right now. And he, he leads his, his family ahead in front. And then he remains a little while behind. And he is sleeping in this place called Bethel, which means the house of God. And he has this, this image of Jacob's ladder, the angel's ascending and descending. And Jesus himself would use this image to say, the angels are ascending and descending on the Son of Man. And so Jacob's ladder is actually an image of Christ. Christ, the mediator between God and man. But what I like about this is that when Jacob awakes from sleep, and, and he says these words, the Lord is in the spot, although I, I did not know it, that's a great thing for us to remember because the Lord is always with us. His very name is Emmanuel, which means God with us. And even in the, the Gospel of Matthew, which we hear today, the very beginning of the Gospel of Matthew that we don't read here, but it talks about how his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. At the very end of the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, and behold, I will be with you always. And if you were to read that in more of a Hebrew way, he says, behold, Emmanuel, until the end of the age. And so it's that reminder that, that Jesus walks with us as the word among us. I remember reading, or rereading, during this, this time of the shutdown, um, and I was reading uh, in that virtual neighborhood program that I was doing one of the Chronicles of Narnia. And it's called The Horse and His Boy. It's a very beautiful story. But it actually is really about this line of scripture. Truly, the Lord is in this spot, although I did not know it. That's a summary of that whole book. Because you have the story of this boy, Shasta, and he is, um, he is an orphan. He is being taken care of by a, a cruel master. He escapes. He actually escapes with a talking horse, and they go on their way to Narnia. But in the midst of this, you have these encounters with lions. There are these two lions that are running after the horse and his boy, and it's terrifying. There's another moment in which this lion is coming up, um, and it seems like he's ready to eat him. There's another moment in which this lion actually wounds him. But what it does is it creates this situation in which all these other things start to happen that bring about this beautiful victory. And Shasta, in this moment, he uh, later on, he encounters this... Um, presence of this one who's walking with him. And it's this very mysterious moment, and he starts talking to this mysterious other who is both terrifying and beautiful, and says, where were you when all these things, these lions were attacking me, when I was hurt by a lion, why all these things happened? And then this other starts to speak and starts to say, there was actually only one lion, and I was that lion. I was the one, and, and what he does is he starts opening up um, the story that we're reading about through all the horse and his boy, but now we start seeing the reason for why these things were happening that didn't make sense before, and it seemed like they were um, getting in the way, they were becoming obstacles, they were even woundings that seemed to be very cruel. 
And yet what Shasta realizes is every single thing that happened, this other was walking with him to help him through all of it. And even in those moments where it seemed like he was abandoned, or it seemed like there was tragedy, or it seemed like he was even being hurt by the other, once he was able to see it after the fact, once he was able to see it from a bird's eye view, he started to realize that all of this was out of a deep love for him and for all of those that had been brought into his life. And so Jacob says these words, I didn't know that God was here in this moment. And how many times do we maybe in our own life, we question and say, where is God in this situation? Why isn't God doing something in this situation? Why does it seem like God is actually hurting me in this situation? And yet we need to be like Jacob, who says, I didn't know he was there, but I can truly trust that God is here. Bethel is here. Jacob's ladder is here, even if I can't see it. Lord, let me have the eyes of faith, just like Jacob had the eyes of faith through a dream, to be able to see that God is actually very, very close to us. And he never, ever leaves his children.